What's happening, y'all? Welcome back. Looking up at that night sky once again. So, we are probably heading for the comet. I think the comet is the uh, the play here. We're gonna, we're gonna suit up. Let me, uh, do, 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 do. the interloper. Let's lock on, buckle up. Let's lift off and engage autopilot. Oh god. Alright, so while we are autopiloting there. Quantum caves, lake bed cave, the gravity cannon, subsurface energy readings. So lots to explore. I think we go over here. We send it inside to investigate. We come back. Let's go investigate. Which one's this? Used to play a game in Fossil Fish Cave. There's a way to enter Fossil Fish Cave from Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. I don't know how to feed light, so I don't think I can do that. Bottom lake bed. Alright. Well, for now... Oops. Landing camera damaged. Are we... How are we going on, uh... Oh, what the hell? I thought you were autopiloting the whole time. You were not. Autopilot, are you gonna... Are you gonna adjust the course? You're kind of flying us straight into the sun right now. Autopilot, what are you doing? Autopilot flew us into the sun. Okay. That was, uh... Gotta be honest, it's not, not a very good autopilot. I don't think the autopilot's supposed to fly you into the sun. Let's try that again. So I think the interloper is on a course where it burns up eventually when it hits the sun. So we got to get there fast. We are right on course for it right now. We're going to land. We're going to look for the crack. They said on the sun side. Fissure in the ice on the sunward side. Fissure in the ice. promising
Bit of a rough landing, but... Alright, the sun that way. Yes, it is. Go into it. Uh, I mean, that's a fissure in the ice. I don't see any way to get through it, though. We're dead. We're dead. We're gonna die. Our ship is definitely gonna... No, we're not dead. Our ship is floating off into space, though. That's nice. Oh, that hurt. Stress beacon, outer wilds, or distress beacon. Okay, neither of these are what I want right now. I mean, this is the fissure. Maybe there's something else I need to to descend into the comet. Ship is now two or three kilometers away. Cool. Uh man. Let's go back to where we found the ship that was on the comet since that's been teleported out. No, never mind, it's here. Cause loop. Derpity derp. Well, even if I teleport the ship away, I don't think this ice is gonna suddenly move. Maybe it would. Hmm. So, interloper, where are you going? Uh, you are currently going to the middle of nowhere. We're kind of on track to hit whatever this is. Looks like a light source. Let's go investigate that. I mean, our ship's gone, so we have we are already, uh, you know, final frontier. We're gonna die no matter what out here. We're looping. So let's wait, and then we'll figure out what the hell this this is. Interesting. Three minutes of oxygen. Awesome. Looks like there's microgravity or something over here. Wait, no, that's a... Is that a... Is that a, like a black hole? Or a white hole? Oh, 
Oh. Something bad happened there. I don't know what happened, but it was bad, whatever it was. All right, so, man, I'm so aimless with this game. This game is not made for people with ADD. There's just like, infinite amounts of potential shit to do. I guess let's go, let's go, um, let's go check out the lake, maybe? I kind of want to know more about what the hell is out there. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back to that station thing. I'm gonna figure out what the hell it is. dangerous when you fly right past your destination and then you can't slow down because you're going too fast. Right, we're still, we're almost going back into positive speed. right there come on 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 if I could just get a lock on it so that I can autopilot my way there I'd go like it's like I'm going this way I think the best way would be to, to hitch a ride on the comet there. Oh, fuck it. Engage autopilot for this. No, that's not what I want, though. But it's gonna take me near where I want to go. Okay. happens when we go through this orb. That's... What are you? Are you a micro black hole?
What are you? Didn't I go through one of these before? Is this the one I was in? This one looks... No, wait, maybe it was. Hold up. Ember Twin Projection Stone. Yes. Ember Twin Projection Stone. So maybe that has something to do with the sand that's going through the Ember Twin. Yeah, White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry. This warp tower can return you to Brita... Brittle Hollow. Okay. But I do remember what is here. This is the station. Let's go investigate this lake that we found out about. Can I access, uh... Please don't accelerate into the sun. from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Bottom of a lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. So how do I know what the North Pole of the Ember Twin is? The North always be pointed at the sun, perhaps? I think north is that arrow that's pointed. That's the gravity cannon. Leak bed on, oh, and outer, oh, nope, are you crashing? Don't, well, maybe. I think it, no, oh, it crashed on us. Whack! I wonder what happens when we crash. Does it just start the loop, or is it going to boot me back into where I was? Hopefully it's right back where I was. Rip. Well, it's not like it'll take us too long to get back over there. We'll just consider it another loop death. Uh, that one was was a spontaneous galaxy implosion. really good like chill game for the winter very very cozy game all right 
So, the North Pole and a lake bed. You know what? I don't know, but I'm going to go investigate this thing instead. You seem important. Nope, 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 nope. Not what I wanted to happen. Oh, shit. Some kind of station on the sun as well. No, 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 please don't fly off the planet. Don't fly off the planet. Man, I'm just crushing my limbs. I think I can stop the sand if I jump into this thing as it passes. That's the other Ash Twin, right? That's the other planet. But No, shit, did I fall down a hole again? Yeah, look, there's a definite, like, circle-like object. Definitely gonna go investigate Ash Twin in the next episode and see if I can't like land on it and disable it. Oh, what is this? This looks important. What do we uh what do we got here? Yo, I think this uses the thingy. I think we use the thingy thingy that we we had uh this planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon it disappears if no one is watching it isn't that a fantastic orbital characteristic this is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish whether or not being watched we should study it or even better we should travel there our first step will be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know it's there Give its reluctance to move while observed. It might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Found your note. Count me along this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist as it moves to another location. I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, it can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. What the hell? Secret moons? Astronomical observations that chose an excellent spot. What are they observing? Quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anoa Burr, I just discovered the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device. It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system that the phantom moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friends, so this moon travels to a total of five, not four. It says there's a sixth location that it travels. And this will point at the location of the Phantom Moon, I guess. I 
still don't know about the lake bed. The lake bed. Where is the lake bed? How do I find the lake bed? Well, hang on. If I look at the, the little planet icon, maybe I'm at the south pole of the planet right now. Slow it down, slow it down. This looks important. I want to get down in there. Let's keep going. Yeah, maybe red's north and blue is south. Where are we going? Unidentified signal nearby. take a take a sleep I wonder if this will create this as like a new spawn point for me or something I so said this is the lake bed This is the spot, but I gotta be here fast enough because the damn sand rises. God, this planet, it's the bane of me, bro. I'm never gonna get what I need to. Always being beaten by the sand. I feel like I picked the worst planet to, to start on, you know, <laughs> like. Oh, what the hell, what was that? Like, there's hundreds of, of, well, not hundreds, but there's a ton of different planets out here I could choose from, and I pick the one that's go go speed run mode. It's, uh, where are we going? It's in here. I think I remember this bridge. There's so much here that looks... ...similar. What is this? Quantum fluctuations from a cave shard? Oh, god. Okay. 
Okay. This is, we were here already. Wasn't the same rock fragment the cave we found at the bottom? We examine the northern lake bed. Maybe a friendly rock will meet us down there. Went back to the observe the rock again. Sometimes there, sometimes it isn't. Rock works like the quantum moon does. Interesting. Oh god, it's gone! What the fuck, man? Alright. Let me... End myself again. Alright, well, we're wrapping up. Next part, we are going for the lake bed. We're gonna hit it, and we're gonna figure out what's going on.